Who knew adult animation could be this tasty? This is Skinny Ebra. I'm doing a little video here of trying a new promotion at this place called Dog House, which is a hot dog chain that uh, goes through California and Arizona and Utah. They have select locations. Well, I went to the nearest one to try their little promotion they call the Naughty Dog um, in celebration of Sausage Pie, which comes out on the 12th of August, which I'm really, really excited about because I didn't get to see Team America, World Police, and South Park Big Along when I'm cut when they first came out. So I'm making up for it by seeing the first big adult animation in 12 years. I know, right? I'm going to try the Naughty Dog while I'm here, which has delicious flavors like Polish kielbasa with crispy fried onions and horseradish, which I think will pre-go <laughs> quite well, especially with all those crazy things that this movie's probably gonna have, you're gonna feel all crazy. Thankfully I didn't get any beer or cider along with it, but you know, that's because I'm driving. So, stay tuned, I'll be trying and seeing what it's like. Well, it certainly looks quite messy, but hey, at least they managed to accompany with this. So, so far from what I ate, um, it's actually pretty good and it does have a bit of a spice to it, um, needless to say. Um, uh, for the most part, it reminds me a lot of like um, Philly cheese sandwich or sriracha flavor, even though it doesn't have that sort of thing. I think the sriracha thing is more of an American phenomenon, but hey, it's not too bad. And I do think the best part about it are these little crispy flakes of uh, onion as well. Um, you normally find them in America, like in these little boxes that are from the brand called French. I think it's Unilever or something. And um, they actually work pretty good with this um, hot dog and stuff. And also adding the caramelized onions it definitely gives it a bite. So I certainly like it when I, they put it on burgers. I also like it how they put it on hot dogs as well. It makes it seem, um, it gives it a bit of more of a hipster vibe. I also wanted to tell you I got something very special as well. <laughs> Even I couldn't believe it myself. I had to Henry while I was at the local shops as well. I was very excited to get this film because it's my second favourite and also along with The Raid and a few others. Well, I obviously like Small Soldiers and Incredibles and Hot Fuzz uh, and The Raid a lot more. But hey, this one's a very good film. Lots of action, extreme graphic violence to the point. Um, it received an 18 and almost an 17 in the US. So. You really can't beat something like this. And also the fact that the film was filmed on GoPros makes it more distinctive. Like you're in the scene. You know, instead of it being like a sort of found footage documentary. It's paranormal activity. Stupid stuff. So yeah, they also got some special features in it as well. Like deleted scenes and fan chat. Feature commentary. Because um, most uh, DVDs nowadays, they usually leave out the uh, special features. Um, so you can put it on the Blu-ray instead, so you can pay a little higher price. Well, screw that. At least entertainment and video over there, or STX and Universal over in the US, managed to solve this problem and put some special features on it along with the movie to make it all encompassing.